Should you quit your job to do gig apps or are the gig apps dead? It's DK and I'm back with another video. If you're in your car, turn me up on your stereo. If you're at home, put me on your big screen Vizio. And if you're on your phone, make sure you turn it up because we're about to pull up and uh, run it up. We're about to go get these bucks. Now, we got our first order. We're about to pull up and get in order. We are going to Home Depot. We're about to do some roadie, roadie, roadie with a dabber wrench. We are about to do the roadie app, but to get to this money, no cap. We're picking up two mirrors. We're gonna drive nine miles for 48.64. We're about to pull up and uh, let's go, let's go. We are here at Home Depot Ski, so we can get this dough, G. I ain't been here in a long time. It's been a minute. Uh, we here to get in it, baby. You did. We're here to get this money. How you doing, boss? I got a roadie order to pick up. Uh, WM7970. 0178. Um, is there any way you can go around back? Yeah. You know how to get there? Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna lay these blankets down because it's some mirrors. And I ain't trying to mess nobody's stuff. Ugh. I ain't come there to play no games and y'all already know my name. And PDK, cause it ain't no thing. What's your name? Thank you very much. You guys have a good one. Y'all see what's going on. It's time for us to pull up to somebody home. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop off. Time to not take socks off. We're trying to buy like hot sauce. We're here to drop off these mirror mirrors on the wall. Who's the biggest baller of them all? <coughs> we are, baby. Lean back. Lean back right there. <coughs> mirror number two. What it do if you hate to get you and your crew? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little nervous picking up these mirrors, man, because I don't want nothing to happen. So I'm gonna lean back. Lean back like Fat Joe. I don't wanna mess up these plants. <coughs> Y'all see what's going on. We already get it on. You know my nickname wrong. Guess what time it is. Step back in with the photo. You already know though. Smack. We gone. Order number two. Guess what? I love to get these blues. I hope you do too. Now, what we're about to do right now is we have a private booking from a customer. We are going to an upholstery shop. We're gonna pick up this couch. We're gonna put it in the van. But first we're gonna swing wrap that joint because guess what? It may be all white because I don't know this customer. She loves getting white couches, so it's like, like white or like kind of like off white. But white is her thing. She loves getting that green. Now, we are picking up this couch from our upholstery shop, and then we're gonna take the couch to her house. When we get to her house, what we're gonna do is we have to move one couch and take it to this other room, and then put the couch we're picking up in that same place where the other one was at. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But guess what? About to run up this money, and we ain't playing. Let's go. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing great. I can't complain. I woke up this morning. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I complain all week long, man. Hey. I'm telling you. Nobody's going to listen anyway. Oh, so, <laughs> so how long does it normally take you? This is amazing. This well, looks amazing. Well, normally it don't take me as long as this one did. I'll tell you that. It took me six times to get that right. I'm really? still not happy with Look at this. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah. Well, so normally how long would it take you? Like how many weeks? Well, is it's weeks or? about a week or two. It's you know, nice. say about two weeks. Because... Okay. I gotta get fabric, I gotta get everything in, in stock, everything ready to go, and then take it all apart. This is a complicated piece, there's a lot to it. Yeah, this is really nice. It looks amazing. This is smart. This is smart, yeah. So you said to get it off, you use WD-40 and baby powder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that just came right off. <clears throat> Y'all see the couch. Don't forget, we want the money, not the cloud. We got everything. We got everything in this joint. We cannot put the strap because we was gonna damage the couch. He said he just got done doing his joint. So we ain't playing no games already doing our thing. We do got the, the pole right here. We keep them poles. We got that pole right there just so it doesn't move that much. But it's time for us to run it up and get these books. Let's go. We are here at the drop-off ski. The dog's barking. I don't want no problem. 
That's a bad one too. Dang. They would knock the whole <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. I thought they was gonna break the door down. <laughs> break it up for sure on the inside. That's it. I'm one, two, to go three. With the game was. Okay. Keep going out. Just clear the piano. You got the door? Y'all see it. First couch is smooth. Y'all see what's going on. We are here getting it on. Don't know if I'm making anything wrong. Yep. Voila. That was super easy. It literally probably took us all together, it's, it was less than an hour. It probably was like 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, if that. Because all we had to do was go to the posting shop. Her house is like eight to 10 miles away from the posting shop. We went there, we jumped off the couch. When we get there, we picked the couch up. We put the couch in the other room. Her husband helped us uh, move it to the other room. And then we put the, uh, the new couch. Well, it ain't the new couch, it's an old couch, but it's a new upholstery on it. We put that in the same place the other couch was. And guess what? We got us some uh, scrub. We got us $125 in less than one hour. We love getting that money showers. Now, we're about to do order number three. Guess what? I got a question. Why they hating on me? I want to know. We're about to do Rody, Rody, Rody with a Debra wrench. We're about to do Rody again. We already get dividends. We love to win. Now, I want to say this about Rody before we get into this order. Rody, you are out of pocket. We are picking up a freezer. We're going to drive two miles for $21.35. It's a great time to be alive. Rody, y'all need to get it together. We're about to pull up and run up this channel. Let's go. We are back at the same stove so we can pick up some more dough. We're here to scope, baby. That's what we're here to do. You know my folks sicker than the flu. I thought y'all knew. We love getting them blues. That's money in case you was wondering. How you doing, boss? I have a roadie order to pick up. Uh, WM79870581. Y'all see what's going on. We in the back. Time for us to get to this money and that's a fact. You did. How you doing, boss? How is this not a large or huge, a huge order? <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate right, it. Yep. You guys have a good one. You too. Yes, sir. Will do. <laughs> As you guys can see, we got this joint bungeed up. Now it's time for us to pull up to get our money up. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop off. Time to knock their socks off, we're trying to ball like hot sauce. Say, leave by the garage though. You already know what time it is. Now it's time for the step back in with the photo. You already know though, smack. We gone. Should you quit your job right now to start doing gig apps or are the gig apps dead? Honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys my honest opinion. This is my opinion. Everybody gets to do it how they wanna do it. Number one, you have to know your area. Have you done any gig apps before? If you've never done gig apps before, how are you gonna know if it's gonna be orders out there or is it not gonna be orders out there? You ain't gonna know that. It, it really depends on your area. Number two, I do wanna say this. For me lately, it's been super, super slow. So the question is, do you have money to hold you over if you're not getting any orders for a while? Do you have six months of reserve? Do you have money reserved and stacked away just in case you run into a day when you ain't making no money? Well, days, weeks, months, it could be high. You, you never know. Because honestly, for the last past three weeks for us, it's been super slow. Now we have been getting roadie orders here and there. We have got some disbest someone orders. We have got some different orders. We got lucky a few times too. Um, but for the most part, there haven't been many like roadie orders like it used to be. Um, I don't know if it's like the slowdown for school, the summer slowdown, like people say. I don't know what it is. Or maybe people don't have money to be wasting. Well, not wasting. Maybe people don't have money to be spending right now on stuff from Home Depot and uh, different items like that. So it all really depends on you and your area. What I would say is don't rely on one source of income. So if you just rely on gig apps, I wouldn't do it. That's just me. See, like huge shout out to my guy, Big CJ. He's out there getting busy with the gig apps, but he also has other streams of income coming in just in case stuff don't go his way. Um, and in his area, you gotta understand where he at. He is in Texas. They're building a lot of apartment complexes and all that stuff. So he always getting these paint orders a lot. And then he has his own business where he's actually getting work from uh, private bookings from customers, like we just did. So it really all depends on you, your area, and you definitely need to have some money stacked up 
and saved up because if you don't, guess what? It might get ugly. You never know, it might get ugly. You may not be able to go out there and uh, skull and get no dough like we've been doing. Like the last two weeks has been critical, but it is what it is. We ain't complaining, we maintain. I want you guys to let me know this. If you are a full-time gig app, you use full-time gig apps, how has it been going in your ear? Has it been good, bad, sad, glad? Even though you're doing part-time, how has the gig apps been in your ears? Are they slow or are you out there uh, running up that dough? Let me know, comment below and let me know. But that's my opinion. Also, let me know what you think. Do you think that somebody should quit their job and do all I mean, full-time gig apps? Do you think they should do that? Because I get this all the time. I get a lot of people asking me or telling me they want to quit their job, they want to get them up in, they want to do gig apps. The gig apps are 1,000, be honest with you guys, the gig apps are not reliable for the most part, to me. They're not reliable. It's hit or miss. Sometimes you may get a great day, and sometimes you may get a terrible day, and sometimes you, it's, it's not consistent. So if you want something consistent and you want to stay local, you probably need to get your dedicated route or um, you get you some local work, like some moving jobs and stuff like that. It just really depends on you and what you're willing to do. So that's my opinion. Hey, we're going to keep on getting to this money. We ain't never missing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around because all 2024, I'll be doing this for up to uh, Go. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way.